Um, what can you tell us about how you found out about this news? Well, I was uh, watching the news this morning, and it, it flashes across the screen, and needless to say, uh, I was shocked and, uh, and saddened all at the same time. Uh, and, you know, absolutely surprised that this, this could happen. With your law enforcement background, um, what is your reaction to the fact that, but for the fact that the whip was there, there would not have been security for all of those lawmakers? Because you know both sides of it, law enforcement and now being a lawmaker. Right, and, and that's just the, the, the way it normally is. Steve Scalise is, is the uh, majority whip has been reported, and uh, he is the last person in the line uh, of leadership who actually does get a uh, security detail. The rest of us uh, are on our own. So, uh, you know, I've been in those situations uh, where uh, life and death situations where you have to run toward uh, the danger. And uh, I have the greatest respect, as no one would be surprised by this, but the greatest respect for those police officers who got out and protected Steve police and the others. Uh, it, at the field uh, this morning, in fact, put themselves in danger and were both wounded. And, and just so uh, uh, relieved to hear that uh, the wounds uh, of those that were injured this morning uh, thus far, anyway, are not life threatening. Congressman Dave Riker joining us live on King 5 Mornings. Can you tell us what this softball game, this annual game for charity, means between Republicans and Democrats, especially at a time when our country is so divided? Well, so they've been they've been doing this for many many years. Uh, I think even back in the, the the time when Steve Largent was here, he was a, a part of the team, and uh, I played on the uh, Republican soccer team. So there's a there's soccer team, football team, baseball team, Democrats on one side, Republicans on the other side, practicing as to have uh, these athletic contests, uh, all uh, doing it together, a bipartisan effort to raise money for uh, charities of their choice. And uh, it, it is a time when Democrats and Republicans come together, not only as players on the field, but as fans and fans cheering on their own team, and then taking pride in the fact that they, they accomplished this without too much physical injury uh, in raising money for a deserved charity. Congressman Reichert, I, I know when uh, we were in the middle of the health care debate, then there were lots of town halls. You, you didn't want to have a public town hall. You had one on Facebook because you were concerned about safety and people were, were so uh, frustrated with that. Uh, are you concerned about your safety, especially in light of the fact that the president's disapproval rating is at a record high, his approval rating is at a record low, and, and there seems to be so much contention in the country? Are you, are you worried about your own safety? Well, I, I don't worry about my safety. I, I worry about the safety of my staff. Uh, you know, I've I, uh, been in situations, as I said, in, in, uh, in my career that have been life and death situations. I uh, feel comfortable in, in knowing that I can handle those, but I have taken extra precaution at my district office, security measures that uh, I, I know over the last uh, uh, several months have caused some constituents uh, some frustration. Uh, because uh, they, 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 you know, they feel like it's overkill. But um, look, I'm going to protect my staff. I'm going to make sure that my offices are secure, that people still have access. And even though we, uh, I will not be uh, forced into putting my staff and or myself in situations that cannot be controlled, and we don't know there what their motives might be, we have met with over 400 people, uh, especially over the Easter break on Saturdays and in the evening, early morning, eight to 10 people at a time. So we, and through Facebook Live, reached 65,000 people uh, with Enrique Cerné uh, and telephone town halls. There are so many ways to reach out to constituents. And as far as the separation, the, the division and the chasm that exists today uh, in our society, uh, look, Americans, we need to come together. This is not the country uh, that we want it to be. and. Uh, We've got to have peaceful discord, respectful discord, and re respect each other's opinions. We can disagree, but we're all Americans, all wanting to live free, trying to do the best we can for the American people. The president's going to be speaking here shortly. Um, 
we are just about out of time, but what would you like him to say? Well, I, I really am looking forward to having him uh, say some words that bring this country together. We're working with a bipartisan group here in, in Washington, D.C., of Democrats and Republicans that I helped put together that are, have visited Baltimore, Atlanta, uh, Houston, uh, Detroit, and, and trying to find out how we can uh, uh, bring people together and, 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 and close this gap uh, and stop this violence. And I'm hoping to hear words from the president today that encourage people uh, to, to, uh, to once again be a peaceful America and respect each other. Congressman Dave Reichert, we appreciate you joining us on King 5 Mornings. Continue to be safe. Yeah.